What is up, everybody? Solomon here. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic Tuesday. First and foremost, if you see any scam ads on this video, please do not participate in those. I wanted to hop into a little bit of interesting interledger and ripple tie-ins that I had found today once I saw this announcement from the Bank of France. Um, now, we've seen a previous document stating that wholesale CBDCs can interoperate with a digital asset that is native to a block uh, to a blockchain such as Ethereum or Ripple that was pre presented by the Bank of France earlier in 2020. I will certainly show you that, but I'm also going to show you some very interesting documents that I had just found about Interledger. And I'm going to move forward later in this and talk about Hashgraph just a little bit because they had an announcement today as well. So if you're not aware, this is Bank of France involved in central bank digital currency payment for fund units with INES, and this is I-Z-N-E-S. Now, from everything that I could find about INES, and I may be pronouncing this incorrectly, they are not directly tied in with Ripple. But just to give you a heads up of what happened, uh, Bank of France announced the results of a central bank digital currency transaction conducted on December 17th. It involved the subscription and redemption of fund units on the INES private blockchain. INES is the French fund administration platform developed by Settle, S-E-T-L, that uses Settle's enterprise blockchain technology. Same thing goes for Settle. I could not find any, any direct tie-ins with Ripple. All right, moving forward, because I'm going to try to keep this quick and simple. This deals in the Central Bank of France as well. This is six months ago. Accenture, HSBC, who are both Ripple clients, HSBC was confirmed by Deutsche Bank, and Accenture is a Ripple integrator, a Societe Generale in French central bank digital currency test. So we can see, and also we have Euroclear here, uh, we have SEBA, uh, Prosper US, Liquid Share, Ains, Societe Generale, Forge, etc., etc. Uh, testing this uh, wholesale CBDC test transaction. Now, if I am not mistaken, this talks about Ethereum. Yeah. So two months ago, the Bank of France said it completed a wholesale CBDC test transaction with Societe Generale on Ethereum for a $40 million covered bond. Liquid Share, which plans to tokenize SME, small and medium enterprise shares, is backed by Societe Generale as well, uh, as, well as Euroclear, BNP, uh, BNP Paribas, and Euronext. Now, What's interesting is we have this Central Bank of France document from the beginning of 2020 stating that units issued on wholesale CBDCs, native blockchains could be transferred to other blockchains. Since the attributes of a unit of the wholesale CBDC, which is a file representing the, uh, the currency unit, keys enable, enable the use, may be integrated in a crypto asset circulating on another blockchain, which is possible on Ethereum and Ripple, for example. Let me read that one more time. I've done this before, but this is just trying to paint a little bit of a broad picture for you guys. Units issued on the wholesale central bank digital currencies native blockchain could be transferred to other blockchains. Since the attribu uh, attributes of a unit of the wholesale central bank digital currency can be integrated in a crypto asset that is circulating on another blockchain, which is possible on Ethereum and Ripple. For example, it would then become possible to use the unit on this blockchain. Interesting that they were tying in with Ethereum there for that fund or that bond transfer. Uh, we know that they've obviously looked into Ripple. I wonder what digital assets work on the XRPL. Now, moving forward here, I found this today. This is from EFAMA. I am not, I have never seen, I, I don't think I've seen this at least. Um, and let me just see, EFAMA is the European Fund and Asset Management Association, founded in 1919, right? This is legitimately saying that they're going to be utilizing the W3C's Interledger standard, which we know Interledger protocol was gifted to the W3C, invented by Ripple and gifted to the W3C. So I hadn't seen this before. Maybe you have seen this. This is uh, EFAMA, and I'm, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm just saying it by letter will need to develop views on how to enable interoperability and harmonization of various proprietary distributed ledger technology standards. For example, with the help of W3C's interledger standard. In this contact, uh, FMRC's benefits transforming the current proprietary, uh, proprietary DLT T standards into ISO standards everybody can use and which are usually backed by the Global Regulatory and Supervisory Com uh, Committee. 
Recommendations is ISO 20022. Wow, that's really interesting because we know that Ripple is the first distributed ledger technology company to have a seat on the ISO board for ISO 20022. Huh, interesting. Uh, so yeah, this is EFAMA again. And if you're not aware, uh, I you know W3C invented at Ripple, or I'm sorry, Interledger Project invented at Ripple, essentially gifted to the W3C, right? 300 plus contributors. We know that Interledger is very much so uh, currency, ag you know, it's it's asset agnostic, pretty much. Really doesn't care. Um, interoperability is is key in Inter Interledger protocol. This is about uh, FMA. This is the voice of the European investment management industry. So this organization that is literally saying that they need to uh, potentially, for example, utilize Interledger protocol to talk about interoperability and DLT standards, moving away and under one certain regulatory body that everybody utilizes such, you know, one such example would be ISO, ISO 20022, they directly recommended here. And uh, yeah, where possible financial institutions, funds and other relevant transactions should be identified with their respective ISO codes in the API and distributed ledger technology area, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, moving forward here, uh, at end of Q3 2020, total net assets of European investment funds reached Euro, uh, Euro 7.6 trillion euros. These assets were managed by, and I'm gonna lose this here. Hold on a second. These asset were, assets were managed by more than 34,200 uh, undertakings for collective investments in transfer, uh, transferable securities and close to 29,400 alternative, uh, alternative investment funds. More information available elsewhere on this site. This talks about where FMA first started. This talks about national member associations in here. Can talk, you know, it goes down the whole line here. Uh, Austrian uh, Association of Investment Fund Management Companies, Belgian, uh, Bulgarian, Croatian, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, BBI, which is Berlin and Germany, uh, Brussels, Frankfurt, Greece, Hungary. So this organization directly here is saying that they want to tie into inter interledger protocol. I have not seen this before. Um, this is fund processing standardiz uh, standardization. This is the fourth edition. This is posted in 2018. So granted, it's a little bit older, but I found it when I, during research today, and I'm going to present it to you guys as well. Now, moving forward here, I found this as well. This is uh, onalays.org, and this is from 2017, so older again. But this publication is interesting to me mainly because um, I believe that this organization is now basically attached to the general council of the economy in france which is itself placed on the under the authority of the ministers responsible for the economy industry and electronic communications in france and let me find this document here oh wait hold on i hope it's in here oh no i probably deleted that all right, well, regardless, I found a statement from this document from, uh, this is Analyze, this is La, the publications de Analyze de Mine. I'm certainly mispronouncing that in French and I really apologize, um, but attached to the General Council of the Economy, which is itself placed under the authority of ministers responsible for the economy, industry, and electronic communications. Now, when I translated the tweet that I actually found from this, that's gonna really piss me off, well, that I found this document, um, this was from the document that I found from them. And this directly talks about uh, the Bank of England. And we know that the Bank of England utilized um, Ripple Tech connected into Interledger Protocol as well. But this document from them, from you know, pretty much a government-backed uh, agency in France, uh, the bank from, and correct me if I'm wrong on that, the bank from England is partnering with Ripple to develop a multi-currency international payment system to show how synchronization enabled by technology should make it possible to reduce settlement risk and improve speed and efficiency in cross-border payments. Uh, if I find this document again, I will certainly post it, uh, but this is the entire thing that I pulled from that document from that organization there. All right, now last but not least, I wanted to talk about this. This is ever, uh, everywhere in Hedera Hashgraph enabling cold chain monitoring of a pandemic vaccine for NHS facilities. 
Now, this is UK Hospital Network has become one of the first worldwide to, to use a digital ledger technology. Uh, distributed ledger, we know that obviously obviously Hashgraph is patented by Swirls, the parent company, that tech. Uh, it's proprietary, similar to one that underpins several cryptocurrencies to track the handling of the vaccines that are that are all going to be go out going out. This is South Warwickshire uh, NHS Foundation Trust, which is a part of the government run National Health Service and administers four hospitals in central England has begin uh, has begun using the Hedera Hashgraph system to keep track of whether the vaccines are being stored at the correct temperatures. Hedera and Everywhere, a UK software company, is overseeing the project, which has been re- announced on Tuesday. This is NHS, the National Health Service. So, I mean, we can see this consistently across the board. I thought this was a little bit creepy. God in the Bible arrived on the Bitcoin blockchain at block 666,666. Do not allow yourself to be overcome by evil. On the contrary, he conquers evil with good. Is a message that includes a Bitcoin transaction held on January 18th, 2021. The words corresponded to the biblical verse found in Romans 12, 21. And that verse is be not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. A little bit creepy to me, but I think that the hash graph news is absolutely gigantic. And some of the interledger protocol stuff through uh, FMA and, you know, certainly through this uh, publication that essentially is being operated by, um, you know, some high level uh, economy initiatives through what it looks to be the government of France. Um, I haven't seen it as well. If I find the document in here, because I had it pulled up, obviously I don't know how to speak French, so I couldn't have just made this up on my own. Uh, I will certainly present it about the, you know, Ripple essentially just partnering with Bank of England for developing this multi-currency international payment system instead of just trialing Interledger. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there is news tomorrow, I will certainly present it. And yeah, take it easy. Later.